Second Life is a three-dimensional virtual world, the next generation service delivery platform, or call it the contact center of 2020, with around 8.5 million residents, or what they call avatars. Cisco has created a presence here to explore the business potential of these metaverses, as they are called here. We have already pushed the technology to hold leading edge events with streamed video, slides, live Q&A session, and yet no one had to leave home to present or to attend. CE team held the first Second Life voice over IP meeting in Cisco. And here's the CE management team showing the potential of holding voice over IP meetings in one of the private Cisco meeting rooms. Team, thanks for taking time to try this new technology out. Khan, this is great. I'm really impressed with the voice quality and the directionality. It's got some advantages over teleconference since it's nice to put a face to a voice. And I know the guys are working on making PowerPoint more seamless. I'll certainly be looking at using it during my next team meeting. I think it offers a lot of potential for our channels and customers. We've had a really positive reaction at the Partner Summit and at Expos about Cisco's interest in virtualization. The partner Povino indeed is a great idea. And we're looking at running recruitment events and even training in this kind of environment. And since virtual worlds require broadband, security, storage and a robust IP network, it's a great story for Cisco. Gardner predicts that 80% of all Internet users will have a presence in a virtual world within the next five years. We want Cisco to be at the head of this deployment. A lot of our customers are starting to create a presence here to experiment like us to understand the potential uses of this new platform. Starwood Hotels created a virtual version of their Aloft chain to get customer feedback. There are lots of automotive companies looking for how they can leverage this platform for research and development. Many banking chains are here actually delivering you know, returns to your cash. In fact, every major brand is here and now NASA, World Economic Forum and some governments like Sweden have used the environment to provide service to citizens and customers. Imagine linking Second Life with applications like WebEx or with technologies like telepresence and imagine what it can lead into. This could be the first tangible thing governments deliver to their citizens in exchange of their tax dollars. But I guess we better get back to Las Vegas, guys. Thanks for taking part. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.